Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to see all of you here. Welcome to the House of European Football in Nyon for the UEFA Europa League round of 32 draw. It's a pleasure to see all the clubs here, excited, I'm sure, as we'll have the draw in just a few moments. As we look back at a memorable group stage, it was clear to see it fully reflected the quality and strength of European club football across the continent. The battle for qualification for the round of 32 remained in the balance up to the final day, when no less than 21 teams remained in contention for the final 11 Places. One particularly exciting finish saw so the Belgian club Ghent qualify for the next stage with a last gasp goal in the 94th minute. Ukrainian outfit Shakhtyor Donetsk were the only team to win all of their six matches in the group stage and finished as the leading goal scorers as well with 21 goals, giving an impressive average of 3.5 goals per game. Congratulations are also due to Julienu from FC Zenit and Aritz Aduris from Athletic Club, who are the only overall leading scorers at this stage. But why continue to talk to you about all the action? We can watch some of it as we show you some of the highlights from the group stage. Stockholm is the final destination, 32 teams still dreaming of lifting the trophy. So much excitement already, so much more still on the way. And to help us unveil the mystery of who is facing who in the round of 32, here's UEFA's Deputy General Secretary, Giorgio Marchetti. Please give him a warm welcome. <laughs> Giorgio. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the House of European Football here in Nyon for the draw ceremony of the UEFA Europa League round of 32. Best wishes also from uh, our UEFA president, Alexander Cheferin. First of all, let me express once more UEFA's deepest sympathy for the Turkish clubs and the Turkish population for the horrible attack on Saturday night right after a football match in Istanbul. Now, once more, the UEFA Europa League group stage has been a thrilling and unpredictable tournament. The competition's appeal and interest will be heightened with the start of the knockout phase and the gripping excitement provided by the direct elimination system over two matches. 
The top quality field remains in the running with the 24 group winners and runners-up lining up alongside eight teams from UEFA Champions League. Now a very steep new path is opening. It is really impossible to see its arrival from this point, but we know that it leads to the Friends Arena in Stockholm for the appointment with the UEFA Europa League title on the 24th of May 2017. We are all waiting with bated breath uh, to find out who will be playing each other in the round of 32. And it just remains for me to wish all of the clubs the very best of luck in their quest to continue their exciting adventure. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to meet a Swedish football legend who is proud to be our ambassador for the final in Stockholm next year. Before seeing him on stage, let's see him in action during his prestigious career. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the UEFA Europa League final ambassador for 2017, Patrick Anderson. <laughs> Hello, Patrick. Hello. Welcome Thank with you. us. How are Thank you? Thank you for the intro. Yeah, good. So, I have a couple of questions for you. Uh, so, one of your former clubs, Borussia Mönchengladbach, uh, is in the race. Uh, how do you rate their chances to make it to the final and uh, who? Do they have to be wary of in particular? Yeah, Borussia, yeah, definitely. They have the potential, but uh, I think it's important now to get the points in their National League and bring this into the Europa League. As a, as a Swede, uh, I have to cross my fingers for uh, our neighbours, Copenhagen, who did a really good run in the, in the Champions. Nine points okay. and pretty close. And uh, for me also, top favourites are Manu, and uh, also impressed of uh, Shakhtar Donetsk winning six of games in the group yeah. stage. And they are so. the only team uh, with uh, the, uh, the clean sheet, um, including Champions League. So yeah. impressive. That's really, yes, this impressive performance. Now let's come to, to your country, to Sweden. So 13 years after the clash uh, between Valencia and uh, Olympique de Marseille, a final comes back uh, to Sweden. So uh, what does it mean for the country and uh, what do you tell us about this beautiful new stadium in uh, Solna? Yeah, we have the tradition and also the experience to host uh, big venues and uh, for me to welcome quality football to Stockholm. Finally, we have, have a really good uh, national stadium capacity of 50,000 and uh, always good atmosphere. So I'm really looking forward to welcoming yes. two teams to Stockholm in May next year. Very good. So it will be a fantastic final in a very good uh, setting. So Patrick, please uh, take your position uh, over there. And uh, as we are now nearing the start of the procedure, I would invite uh, on stage uh, my colleague Michael Hezajved, the head of club competitions, to detail the technical procedure of the draw. Welcome, Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Tolcho, and uh, good afternoon to all of you. For the draw today, we will have the 12 group winners, the 12 group runners-up, and the eight third-ranked teams from the group stage of the UEFA Champions League involved. This round of 32 will be played according to the knockout system. In accordance with <coughs> the competition regulations, the UEFA administration will fix the kickoff times. The full fixture list will be available after the draw here. The following principles apply for the draw. Clubs from the same association can obviously not be drawn against each other. The 12 UEFA Europa League group stage winners and the four best third-ranked teams from the UEFA Champions League are drawn against the 12 UEFA Europa League group runners-up and the remaining third-ranked teams from the UEFA Champions League group stage. The winners and the runners-up of the same group cannot be drawn against each other. The 16 teams <coughs> seated, which are seeded will play the return leg at home. Finally, as the decision earlier taken by UEFA, 
is still in place, teams from Russia and Ukraine shall not be drawn together. Four clubs are concerned by this decision. Football club Zenit, FC Krasnodar, FC Rostov and FC Shakhtar Donetsk. The procedure to establish the 16 pairings is as follows. The 16 balls containing the names of the unseeded teams over there <coughs> will be placed in a ball, while the balls containing the names of their potential opponents are picked from the pot of the seeded teams. The computer will indicate after drawing each unseeded team which group winners or best third ranked teams can be drawn against them in accordance with the conditions explained. Should we have only one team eligible to be drawn against a particular opponent, there will be no draw. That's it for now. I now give the floor back to Giorgio. We are ready to proceed. Yes, <clears throat> we are ready to proceed. Let me just remind you the names of the 32 teams. So on the one side, we have the 12 group winners, all seeded. They are Fenerbahce, <coughs> Apo LFC, AS Saint Etienne, Football Club Zenit, AS Roma, KRC Genk, Ajax, FC Shakhtar Donetsk, FC Schalke 04, uh, Fiorentina, Sparta Praha, Osmanli Sport. And with them, the four best third ranked teams from the group phase of the UEFA Champions League FC Copenhagen, Olympique Lyonnais, Tottenham Hotspur, and Beziktas JK. The 12 uh, group runners up are Manchester United, Olympia Corsa, Anderlecht, AZ Alkmaar, Astra Giurgiu, Athletic Club, Celta de Vigo, KA Ghent, Krasnodar, Pauk FC, Hapoel Beersheva, and Villarreal. They are joined by the four unseeded third ranked teams from the group phase of the UEFA Champions League, uh, which are FC Rostov, VfL Borussia Mönchengladbach, Legia Warsaw, and Ludogorets Razgrad. With all this, uh, we are ready. I will uh, draw the unseeded teams, uh, so, and then uh, Patrick will complete, uh, complete uh, the pairings with one of the seeded teams, uh, one of the available seeded teams, of mm -hmm. course, uh, respecting the conditions of the draw. And uh, thanks to our computer, we will know which teams are available for each pairing. So the first team drawn is uh, Athletic Club. Athletic Bilbao. So all teams uh, possible except one, KRC Genk, who played uh, in the same uh, group with uh, Athletic Bilbao. Athletic will try to play again another final of the uh, UEFA Europa League after the uh, Spanish clash in 2012 at the National Stadium in Bucharest uh, with Atletico de Madrid. And now, let's see how they're going to start their so, journey to uh, no, Stockholm. Well. Please, uh, Patrick, yeah. it's up to you. Give us one team. Upwell. So, they start uh, with Upwell FC, the Cypriot Spotted. team which is playing this round of 32 for the first time. But don't forget that Apoel played a few years ago the quarterfinals of Champions League against Real Madrid. So next team is Legia Warsaw. Legia Warsaw coming from Champions League. So all teams here are possible opponents for Legia. So they come from Champions League, so no group winner and uh, no other Polish clubs. So they have 15 potential opponents. Here we go. Here we go. Ajax. So Ajax, um, Ajax Amsterdam, the former winners of the UEFA Cup, they will travel to Warsaw.
Now it's underlaid. So underlaid, uh, they cannot play against Saint Etienne, the same group, and uh, against Genk. All the other teams left are possible opponents for uh, Anderlecht, who won this competition back in uh, 1983. <coughs> oh, it's a long time ago. It's time for Anderlecht to uh, go as far as possible. <coughs> At first, Anderlecht will have to overcome the team which is coming out of the ball. Patrick. Football Club Zenit. So, Football Club Zenit, uh, this promises to be very tough for uh, Anderlecht. Football Club Zenit, winners in 2008. And now Astra Giurgiu. FC Astra Giurgiu from Romania. They can play with all the teams, but as Roma, Astra Giorgio, it's the first time they participate in the round of 32 of the UEFA Europa League. playing Astra Giorgio. Genk. Genk. So, this KRC Genk, they will play Astra. <coughs> and now Manchester United FC. So, for Manchester United, we can draw all the teams, uh, not Fenerbahce and not Tottenham Hotspur. So, many other possibilities for them. For Manchester United, the best result of Manchester United in the UEFA Cup is quarter-finals. But, of course, they are used to playing on a different stage. Saint-Étienne. Uh, Saint-Étienne. Uh, so Saint-Étienne uh, to play Manchester United. Uh, very tough draw. Villarreal. Villarreal. They can play with all teams but Osman Lispor. Yareal, the semi finalists of last season. They stopped their run just uh, one step away from the final, unfortunately. But this season is another possibility. Roma. It's another challenging tie, Villarreal versus AS Roma. Ludo Goretz Rasgrad. Champions of Bulgaria, after playing the group phase of Champions League. They now try another chance in the uh, run of Europa League. All uh, remaining teams are possible for uh, Ludogorets Razgrad, as they didn't play in any of the groups.
FC Copenhagen. FC Copenhagen. So I, didn't, I don't have a very nice uh, say, a Scandinavian accent oh, uh, like yeah. my friend uh, Patrick. So Ludogorets versus Copenhagen. The next tie starts with this team. Celta de Vigo. Celta can play with all the remaining teams, so no exclusions. And Celta quarter finalists for three times in a row between, 2000, between 1999 and 2001. But now it's a long time ago. FC Shakhtar Donetsk. FC Shakhtar Donetsk. The team uh, which made the ample in the group phase. And the winner of the trophy in 2009, the last time it was named the UEFA Cup in Istanbul. Olympiakos FC. All teams possible for Olympia Corsa, so eight possible opponents for the Greek champions of Olympia Corsa. Osmanli Sport. So Osm Olympia Cross versus Osmanli Sport. Team from Turkey. And the first round time in the round of 32 of the UEFA Europa League. Now KAA Ghent from Belgium. Ghent. They can play with all the remaining teams. And Ghent were quarter finalists in 1992, quite a long time ago. Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur. So Tottenham Hotspur will play KAA again. FC Rostov. Rostov. So first participation in the round of 32 for Rostov, coming directly from the UEFA Champions League. They can play with all the remaining teams. Sparta Pro. Sparta Praha. Oh, Sparta Praha will play against FC Rostov. First match in Russia. And another Russian team now, FC Krasnodar. Krasnodar. They cannot be drawn against uh, FC Schalke because of uh, the same group in the group phase, but they have another four teams which are possible opponents. Krasnodar.
Fenerbahçe. Fenerbahçe. Fenerbahçe will play with Krasnodar. Borussia Mönchengladbach. Also from the UEFA Champions League. They can play with uh, three of the remaining teams, uh, not with Schalke because, of course, of the country protection. So, you know, a German opponent, but uh, one of the other three. For Mönchengladbach Gladbach winners twice of the trophy in the 70s. Your team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the former club of Patrick. So, Patrick, now. Fiorentina. Patrick has drawn uh, at GF Fiorentina to play versus his former club. I don't know if it's good or bad, but <laughs> we will decide. And now AZ Alkmaar. AZ, uh, three opponents. Potential opponents for AZ. Now. Olympic Lyonnais. Olympic Lyonnais will play against AZ Alkmaar in the round of 16. Almost done. Mm. We have now only two pairings left. <coughs> and we start with uh, Hapwell Ber Sheva. Was a very good surprise in the group phase, Hapwell Ber Sheva. Difficult group with a team from Italy, a team from England. They managed to qualify. And that's the very first time that Ber Sheva will play the round of 32 of the UEFA Europa League. So we're going to know now who their opponents are. Bejiktas. Bejiktas. So, Apol Bersheva will play Bejiktas in the round of 32. Last unseeded team is uh, Pauk FC. I'll give it to you like this. Thessaloniki. Pauk will play with Schalke 04. FC Schalke 04. So, ladies and gentlemen, this completes the draw for the round of, uh, say, 32 of the Europa League. Many thanks to uh, Patrick Thank and uh, Pedro. The floor is back to you. Good to see you again, gentlemen. A lot of excitement, a lot of tension here over the last uh, few minutes. Fantastic ties to look forward to. Also some teams playing each other for the first time. For example, Athletic Club and Apoel and Ludogorets and Copenhagen had never faced off before. Curious fact for you, uh, I believe Paul Pogba will be meeting up with his brother uh, in Saint-Étienne. So that's something to look forward to for him. Uh, let me give you some dates. The first leg will take place on the 16th of February next year, of course. The return leg, 23rd of February. And also the round of 16 draw, that'll take place on the 24th of February, just after the return leg of the round of 32. And that'll do it from all of us here. We wish you all a happy Christmas and a successful new year in football as well. Thank you. Thank you.